this coronavirus spread. More than 160,000 cases in the United States. More than three quarters of Americans are under stay-at-home orders tonight. This is not a financial crisis. This is just a temporary moment of time. Most likely you don't recognize what has happened to life in America. have been in business actually right before this whole situation happened we just celebrated our 17 year anniversary so this is the first time ever in my career that I, I can't work it is very very difficult it is a financial hardship so unfortunately the bills that get automatically withdrawn from my account are still automatically withdrawn from my account and there is no income going into the account um, you currently have employees how are they kind of coping with this as well well, um, it's kind of the same thing. So I've been trying to keep the girls' spirits up. So I've still been messaging them and texting them. Um, most of my girls have um, other jobs as well. So um, some can work, some cannot. Some of them are working from home. I, I am the most concerned about my girls that do not have other jobs because this is very, very difficult. But I do know that they are actually relying on, which I think we all are, the people that are out of work, relying on the support of their families. So has there been any type of a, a strategy that you might have inputted uh, to kind of uh, adapt to this current situation that we're going in, maybe like taking bookings ahead of time, like two months from now or something like that? Yes, there is. You know, of course, I never in my entire career have never had anything happen like this. I try to keep um, my clients and my ladies kind of encouraged is I did do a beauty, I've been doing a beauty blog. So I haven't, I've never really been a blogger before, like a video blogger and doing tutorials. So I've been doing that on Instagram. There has been an ongoing Instagram story of just beauty products and beauty blog. Then you paint over top of that whole thing and move the card. Then the second thing that I thought of was to um, have my clients purchase their own self a gift certificate now. So it still gave the salon a little bit of income and then it gave them, it gives them a credit because all of my supplies are at the salon just ready to go. So the salon has a cell phone too, which you and I talked about. So this also was a big help. So although I'm not physically at the location, all of my clients have been calling and texting this number here. So it's, that has been a wonderful extra thing to have in this. So one of um, my clients is the head of infectious disease control for Good Shepherd. So I gave away actually some of the salon supplies. So I gave away um, our face masks and I kept one for each girl. And I um, gave away the salon's gloves because they need them right now more than we do. And the other thing would be, don't try anything crazy at home. No bang cutting, no box coloring. <laughs> don't do anything without us because we are ready and waiting with a salon full of supplies waiting for you. Now will be the time to practice self-care, to do the things that you wanted to do this whole time, to all the things we complained that we didn't have time to do, now's the time to do them. For my ladies, it would be deep conditioning their hair, working on skincare. So all the things we kind of rushed through, now we don't have to rush for anything. We have more than enough time on our hands. So I'm just trying to encourage ladies to stay positive that way because it is kind of a difficult time. Um, we do have to kind of get up and get moving. Like I'm not used to sitting still this long. So you have to get up and get moving. Um, we do have to open the door and get some fresh air. You know, and this is a difficult time because we are not really meant to be, we're not really built to be alone. So we're supposed to be with people. I particularly love people. I have had such a challenge not hugging people. <laughs> Social distancing is very difficult for me because I love people. So. <laughs> Yep, so I would just say self-care right now. Read a book, read the book you've been trying to read, put your feet up, have some tea. Wait, I'll have some with some product placement. <laughs> <laughs>